Today on Digitize Your Books, I have a correction slash tip. Okay, welcome back to the channel. In one of my previous videos, uh, the one titled Reading on Android, I was not able to get a PDF file copied directly from the OneDrive app on Android into the Google Play Books app. That is the share menu in the OneDrive app on Android. There was in that app, there was no option to open a copy in the Google Play Books app. My solution in that video was to use the web interface for Google Play Books found at play.google.com slash books on your laptop or your desktop, uh, PC or Mac to copy the PDFs into the Google Play Books storage uploads area. And then you can access those PDFs using the Android Google Play Books app. Now that's not wrong. You certainly can do that. And using the web interface might indeed be the most convenient and easiest way to get your PDFs of your beautifully scanned books into Google Play Books so you can read them on your device and on the go. But it is possible to get a PDF of a book from the OneDrive app on Android or indeed from any other app on Android, mail or downloads or whatever, uh, directly into the Google Play Books upload storage area without having to go find your laptop or desktop computer, or PC or Mac and do it through the web interface. To do that though, you have to change a setting in the Google Play Books app. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna open up an Android device here. This is an old uh, Nexus HTC. We'll just unlock it. Now, here I am already in the Google Play Books app. Now there's a couple of ways to get into the settings change. If you're in either the home or library or wish list. Uh, you just click on your icon up here, your avatar on the top right corner. And then having done that, you click on play books settings. Or if you're already reading a book, so I'll just dive into one here. If you're already reading a book, just click in the center of the page to get this, this view, this page uh, higher level view, and click the three dots in the top right hand corner and then click settings. Either way, you're going to get into settings. Once you get there, you're going to look for this one called enable PDF uploading. And the description is from downloads, mail, or other app. Make sure you put a check mark on that. And that's it. You can exit the settings, go back into reading your book. And now when you're in some other app, but it doesn't matter which one, um, I've just gone into downloads here and there's a PDF, you can click that PDF and you've got options to upload it to Play Books. And if you do that, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna go directly into the Play Books app. It will also show up in the uploads area of your Google Play storage area when you go into the web interface. Speaking of Google Play Books, look for my next video where I compare and contrast the various features and the experience differences between Apple's Books reading app and the Google Play Books app. There are some important differences that might make you choose one over the other. I was a little surprised to learn this and I wanted to share that with you. So if you don't wanna miss it, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, you know what to do. Thanks.